Okay, in this demonstration, we're gonna get some practice sewing our garment together. Um, I'm also gonna delete all these annotations because they're actually kind of annoying and they don't connect with clothes. So I don't wanna be confused thinking I have the pattern name set and the grain line set and the dart set when really they're just annotations. It's, it's a little bit different. I wanna make sure that Clo actually has all that stuff set on its own. And then I'm gonna delete the annotations. So to get started, um, before I delete the annotations, I just wanna make sure that the grain line is actually set properly. So to do so, you can select one of your pattern pieces. I'll start with the front one here. And if you look in your property editor, you can see, you know, here's the name. It says front, part, top. I mean, you could change it to just front, whatever you wanna call it, front bodice. And then now let's look for our grain line. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Sometimes I go fast and I miss it. So let me um, find it. Let's try it again. I can do this. <laughs> I can even make this taller. Well, I can try to. There. Okay, that's not happening. Okay, that's odd with this pattern. Okay, that was weird. Okay, so I clicked the pattern in 3D. Was it just here the whole time? It was under fabric. Maybe I just kept going too fast. I'm gonna try clicking it in the 2D window. Sometimes there's just so much information. Okay, let's see if I can find this. I'm looking for fabric in blue. There it is, fabric blue. Oh my gosh, I just missed it because there's so much information. Um, okay, so grain direction, it says 180 deg 80 degrees. So this is good if you guys understand angles, like what is zero degrees, what's 45 degrees? Um, I think 180 is actually what we want, just straight up and down, so that's great. But I'll admit, sometimes I'm rusty on angles, so I need a visual just to confirm. So how, and also what if I wanted to change it? Well, one, you could change it by typing in the number. Um, but I think for now, I want to um, actually get a visual. Put in 180 again, back to where it was. Okay, so to do the visual is they have this tool right here. What do they call it? It kind of looks like fabric, I suppose. It says edit texture. Texture, big 3D word. Um, so it means, I guess, like your fabric. I, texture means a lot in 3D, but for us, it kind of means our fabric. So I'm gonna click that guy, and right away, you can see a green line popped up. That is, this is the symbol for your green line, which is very important to have on your fabric so that it drapes the right way. If your green line is cut on a 45 degree angle, your fabric will actually drape differently. If you're making a pair of pants, and your grain line angle is funky, those pants can twist once they're draped. So people who have taken sewing and pattern drafting, they know this. Maybe people have only done 3D or like, what are you talking about? So just make sure, look for your grain line. You can actually select it and it says 180. That is how we want it. We want it going straight up and down. But look, I can actually move it. I'm trying to hold shift to see if it'll, yeah, it does kind of smart click. So I can see that, you know, you can move it, the grain. And you can see the grain line kind of changes. Well, it didn't at that time, did it? <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, move it again. Straight up and down. Okay, so 180 is good for us. So we're done. There's our grain line. So that means I could delete this other grain line that's like annotated on it. Um, the sleeve looks good. I like the grain line there. What about the back? Yeah, so the grain line's in the right spot. That's good. Um, so now before I delete all the annotations, I also just need to do something about our dart legs. So to sew this up, it does help if you have some sewing experience. And if you do, you might know that darts are one of the first things you need to sew together. So a dart is like this weird triangle thing. So I realize there's some people in this class that maybe have never sewn, right? Other people who have. So for those of you guys who have never sewn, what we're gonna have to do is we are gonna have to sew this dart leg to this dart leg. And when it does that, it makes our flat, 
piece of fabric suddenly pop up and turn 3D, okay? Um, there's more than one way to do this in Clo, and I'm so curious to think what, to see what you guys think is best. I'm wondering, should I leave these lines and just try to sew them? I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna get our sew tool. I'm gonna use the segment sewing tool. I'm gonna click on this guy and click on this one. So that's easy. These came in as what I wanna call internal lines, which is perfect. So then we can use it to sew. My only issue that I'm not super happy about is that we have fabric here. And yeah, if we were gonna actually cut this out, it's pretty normal to leave your fabric. Most people don't add seam allowance, um, but I'm kind of weird that it might sew a little funny on the 3D side. I don't know for sure that it's gonna put the seam allowance on the back side of the garment, or it might put the seam allowance on the front side. So, oh gosh, I'm not sure. So, um. So I think what we should do to be safe is to just get rid of it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna select this sew line, I'm just gonna delete it for now. And what I'm gonna do instead, so I'm gonna select those internal lines and I help shift to click on both of them. And then I'm going to right click and I'm just gonna say cut. <laughs> Great, here we go. So um, what I wanna do is actually delete it. I just wanna throw it away. I don't need it. Um, and then really all I need to do is sew these two together. So click and click. And that's basically it. So I think that's probably the easiest way to go about this. Um, I'm gonna have to do the same to the other side since this guy is not set up to mirror itself. So that's good extra practice so we can really we're trying to remember this. So I'm gonna select one of the dart legs. I'm gonna hold shift. I'm gonna click the other dart leg. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say cut. Okay, now I wanna toss that little piece. So in order to toss it, I have to select it. I'm gonna hit the letter A. See, A is the selection tool. This selects the whole pattern. Z, which by the way is right underneath letter A, will select just part of the pattern. In this case, I wanna click A, select it, delete. Now I can go to my segment sewing tool and I can sew it together. Pay attention to where those little tabs are. See how there's like a tab right now, it's closer to the dart point, but if I bring my mouse over here, now the tab's closer to um, the side seam, you just, it's just gonna show you the sewing direction. So um, whichever way I put the tab on the bottom one, I really want the tab facing the same direction. Otherwise else my sewing gets twisted. And if it gets twisted, you'll know you did something wrong, you'll go in and fix it. Okay, so I think I'm good. Now what I wanna do is delete all of these annotations because it's kinda of slowing down my computer and I don't like them. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna select the pattern. So letter A, click. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say lock. So now I lock the pattern. Now I'm gonna hit the letter Z and I'm gonna click and drag and hopefully I got all of my annotations. So I can just hit delete. That's better because I think it'll just, my computer will just work better without all that stuff. Um, I want, well, I'll leave it locked for now. I think at the end I'll unlock all of them at the same time. Okay, cool. So same thing here. I already checked the grain line. I don't have any darts here. So all I really need to do is hit the letter A, click this to select the shoulder pattern piece. I'm going to right click. I'm going to lock it. I'm going to hit the letter Z. I'm going to click and drag. Oops. And select all of those annotations. I'll say delete. Okay, great. Um, okay, we have some darts here again. So I'm gonna go ahead and deal with those darts the same way. I'm gonna hit the letter Z. I'm gonna select one dart leg. I'm gonna hold shift and click the other dart leg. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say cut. I'm gonna hit the letter A because that will select an entire pattern piece and I can say delete. Ooh, we have a fisheye dart. 
a fisheye dart is essentially two darts just flipped and facing each other. See, here's like one dart upside down, here's the other dart, and they're just meeting in the middle. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to hit the letter Z. I'm going to click each dart leg, and I'm going to hold shift so that I can select all four dart legs at the same time. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to cut that guy. Uh-oh, okay, it will not cut unless it um, is touching the outside of the pattern. So I'll say, okay, we can do something else. Dun, bum, 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 bum. Let me see. Hmm, I know I can do this and I forget how. There is an easy way to do this. Something like cut a hole, I can't remember. Hmm. I could extend and trim to pattern outline, but things get messy, so I don't really want to do that. What if I also select all the dart points? Maybe that's what I need to do. Okay, but all of this is in my way. Uh, so let's see here. What is the easiest way to do this? Now zoom in. Okay, I'm going to click this dart point, U, holding shift. Oh, click. Okay, that's not right. I'm going to do the bottom one, holding shift. Oh dear, it's hard to click both, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna click these. I wanna click the dart point. So it's hard because there's double dart points. I guess they're just not intersecting with each other. Maybe that's something I can figure out. Let's see here. Okay, um, I'm gonna right click. Well, let me cut. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, right click, um, accept extend and trim to internal line. That's what I need. Extend and trim to internal line. So I guess these are just like random little points. They're not like connected like a shape. Hopefully that's good. Now I'm going to try to right click and cut and let's see if I still get that error. I do. Okay. Must intersect the pattern outline. It's not doing that. Hmm. Okay. Right click. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I know I can do this, I just kind of can't remember how. So let me hit pause and refresh. 